Flooding is now taking its toll on summer fun at Tom Hannafin Rivers Edge Park in Council Bluffs. The city decided to cancel Less Fest after delaying the music event earlier this year. Reporter Alex McLoon explains why it was a difficult decision for the city to make. When you create some momentum, you and some inertia, you don't want to stop that. Council Bluffs Mayor Matt Walsh says Mother Nature had the final say so this year. The city is canceling Lust Fest because of the predicted water level of the Missouri River this summer. Mayor Walsh says the festival has been gaining popularity since its start six years ago. And we get professional entertainers that usually have a, a songbook of hits that, that people are familiar with, and so we draw anywhere from 10 to 15,000 people. The park is fenced off until flooding subsides, which isn't believed to happen in time for the festival. Mayor Walsh says the city has to pay for half the entertainment cost ahead of the event, and that deadline was approaching. This 85 acre park has been home to the festival every Memorial Day since 2013. City officials tried to reschedule the festival for Labor Day, but ultimately called it off. It's too bad that it's canceled this year. Carla James attended Lust Fest in the past. She says the vendors and performances from acts like the Omaha Symphony make it a unique event for the summer. They have different um, vendors. They have different um, genres of music that go. And it's kind of just nice to the summertime and to relax, let your hair down, enjoy the music, and kick back with your lawn chairs. The mayor and city officials are planning on hosting the family-friendly event in 2020 and hope for better conditions around the park. Being able to manage the uh, Missouri River has been a challenge, and so we'll hope for better weather going forward. Reporting in Council Bluffs, Alex McLoon, 3 News Now. Council Bluffs will host a block party in place of the canceled Lust Fest. It will be on the last Saturday in August at Bayless Park.